Welcome back to all of you. It is a pleasure to see you again. Hello. Good evening to all of you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Angel. How are you, teacher? Fine, ready. Okay, I'm ready to. Okay. Okay, let me see. We have five, only five. The rest of people is in, they are in, in the Black Friday buying a lot of staff. That is the reason why they are not here with us now. Era cierto, don Angel? Será cierto que los demás andan en el Black Friday.
Okay. Let me see. Okay, we are still waiting for the rest of the class. I have only just eight students at this moment. Welcome back to all of you. Hello, Rafael. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Wow. Yes. Okay, okay. Cristina and Stephanie, welcome. Karina, Ana Cristina, Harrison, Giovanni, Norma Carolina. Juan Carlos Palacios, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hello, sir. Are you ready to start? Sí, yo tengo problemas con el inter, no sé si me mencionó. Soy Cristina. Okay, Cristina. Okay, Cristina. Okay. Um... Ana Cristina Chavarri. Ana del Carmen. Present Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina is here. Thank you. Angel Narciso. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present. Fátima del Carmen. 
Fatima. It's not here. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Harrison Manuel. Present teacher, I am driving, sorry. Okay. Driving, driving, driving. Juan Carlos. Yes, I'm teacher. Karen Yesenia. Karina. Present. Linda Ivette. Linda Ivette. María Julia. María Julia. Marlene Nico. Present. Nancy. Nancy. Not here. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Suleyma. Suleyma. No está Suleyma. Good evening, teacher Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen is present. Present. Excellent. Anna is here. Okay. Okay, this is the class number 10. Today we are going to make a review and practice about the topic that we have started this week. And in order to start, we are going to make a review about the previous class. In other words, some of you missed uh, reading the the paragraph yesterday, and you are going to continue doing now because as soon as you finish, we are going to start with another activity. So please, if you want to do it, just write your hand and we can start in that way. And later on, we are going to continue with the review. I don't know who wants to start. Volunteer, please. Uh, okay. Okay, Mark. I saw your message. Okay, who, who is going to start? I'm, I'm, I'm here waiting. So please let me know.
What about you, Juan Carlos? Did you read? Did you read yesterday or not? No, teacher. Do you want to do it now? Do you have your information with you? Excuse me, teacher. No. Okay, you don't have the, the information. Okay. Okay, don't worry. Um, somebody else wants to do it? Ah, they look at you the camera. Okay. Simple present practice. Yes. What I need is that you uh, read the paragraph that you wrote yesterday at the end of the class. Do you remember that? Who wants to do it? Ok, en español, ¿alguien quiere leer el párrafo que hizo ayer al final de la clase? De los que no participaron. Así, ah, voluntariamente, por favor. Mi teacher. Ok, Cristina. Um, my boss has to sign document to authorize in the all areas of the company he also has meeting with the other businessmen he sent the check to pay providers and spend drinking capuchin all day only that okay okay thank you somebody else anna do you want to say something uh, my boss meets with the suppliers to order and supervisor report design the adjectives and to check uh, uh, quantity, uh, quantity, uh, quantity documents, more or less. Okay, so you got the idea. Okay, somebody else? Somebody else, please. Hello. Okay. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I consider that all of you uh, has to do all the activities and need to have it in your notebook. Okay. Okay, in order to continue, what we are going to do now is that, do you remember the topic that we started uh, on Monday? Mm 
Do you remember it? Yes or no? Chama, please. Hello. Just one, tell me the topic, the first topic of this week, please. They use the adverbs of frequency. They use the adverb of frequency? Yeah. And just order every day. But what about Monday? Teacher, how to use simple present for a schedule? For a schedule activities, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Okay. In order to remember, we are going to see something. We are going to take a look at the daily routine of Garfield. All of you know who Garfield is, right? And then we are going to talk about the specific topic, okay? Okie dokie. I need that you read that. Every day. Every day, Garfield wake up at 10 o'clock. Ah, okay. Okay, take a look at the word waste. Waste. Waste up. Waste up. At 10 o'clock. Okay, we are, we are going to discuss later on. Let, let me go further. Okay, somebody else. Garfield takes a shower. Ah, okay, Garfield take a showers. Uh, what about this one? Garfield brushes. His teeth. His teeth. His teeth. His teeth. Okay. His teeth. Teeth. And then? Garfield has breakfast. Okay, Garfield has bread, breakfast. Somebody else, please. He goes to a school. He goes to school. Okay. Garfield.
Garfield has lunch at 1 10 p.m. Okay. If you are reading, I'm not hearing you. Somebody else, please. After he does his homework. Homework, homework. Repeat, homework. Homework. Yeah, the letter E is uh, silent. Homework. Homework. La e, la e no suena, solo es homework. Homework. La e no, solo home, homework, homework. Okay, next, please. He plays computer, computer games. He plays computer games, okay. Garfield has dinner with Toddy. With Toddy, okay. He has dinner with Toddy. Next, please. Garfield watches television. Ah, Garfield watches television. And finally. He goes to bed. He goes to bed. Finally, he goes to bed. Yes, bed. Okay. Okay, what I want is that you uh, remember what we already started. I remember that I explained you some rules that we are going to apply when we are going to use Bears with a uh, third singular person. In this case, uh, as you have seen, we, be, we have been talking about Garfield. For the reason we use uh, different kinds of verb. And I need that you remember. Uh, when we are going, for example, to add ES to the bears, what do you remember? Tell me. Another thing that I would like to tell you is that if I show you some examples is because I want that all of you participate and, and you had the opportunity to read one sentence. But I don't know why sometimes you don't want to speak. I all the time inviting you to do it. Remember that uh, if you practice, you are going to have more skills. Okay, what do you remember about Garfield? Tell me. Garfield watch, watches television. Watches television, okay. Somebody else? Garfield wakes up at eight o'clock. Uh, wakes up at eight o'clock. Okay, remember, remember the inflection. Okay, somebody else. 
Garfield computer game. Garfield? Computer game. It's missing a word. It's missing a word. Mm -hmm. You are missing the play. word. Play. Play. play computer game. Uh, Garfield plays computer play. games. Play computer game. Okay. Okay. Somebody else? Hello. Goes to a school. Ah, he goes to school. Excellent, Rafael. Maria? Hello, I'm here. No remember, pero Garfield takes a shower. Mm, no Garfield. recuerdo la oración co completa. Okay, Garfield takes a shower. Okay. What else? What else do you remember? Yeah, you are right. I have to take a shower. What about breakfast? What about lunch? What about dinner? What happened? Uh, with Garfield, do you remember? Finally goes to the bed. Final, finally. Go, finally, the, he goes. Finally to the, goes to the bed. Okay. Okay. Remember that what we are doing is just a review in order that you can uh, remember. But as I told you before, I need all of you to participate. In the following activity, I need that all of you try to participate. Please. In order that you can do it, and maybe I'm going to mention your name. Because I want to hear your voice. Okay, I need that you go to your book. And... You are going to look the page number 27. It is called a staff and a schedule. I'm going to share it with you. But I want to see your faces. The reason I'm inviting you to look it up in your, your material. Okay, this is uh, the reading. Read the following schedule of a restaurant manager and write the time for each event. Okay, who wants to start reading? Okay, Angel, you are the, the, the first one. Let, let, let me give me a number to all of you. Okay, hold on. No, it's got be. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I'm going to stop chatting with you. Okay, Rafael, you are going to be one. Listen. Angel, you are two. Anna, three. Raquel, four. Cristina is five. Karen is six. Norma is seven. Ana Cristina, eight. Fatima, it is nine. Juan Carlos, ten. And I don't know, 
person is driving. Amen. Person, if you are listening to me, just tell me if you are driving or not. Person. Giovanni, what about you? Yeah. Are you in your house or, or doing something? Maybe driving or on the bus, I don't know. In my house, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. But, but uh, on the camera, uh, uh, Eh, bueno, español. Escucho cor más cortado. Ah, ok. Al escucho más cortado. Ajá. Ok, ok. When you have your camera on, your signal is weak. Se pone más débil la señal. Ajá. Ok, Raquel, I said, let me see. Who is number 10? Who is number 10? ¿A quién le di el número 10? Juan Carlos, okay, Juan Carlos. Okay, uh, Giovanni, you are number 11. We are, going, we are going to wait for Harrison. And Marlene is busy now. Okay, okay, what you are going to do is this. I'm going to show you the reading and you are going to read one line. Cada uno va a leer una línea. Entonces, cada quien sabe su número. ¿Ok? Let me see. Number one, please. Richard, what is my number? <laughs> number two, Narciso. Number two, ok. Okay, Rafael. I can hear you, Rafa. Your microphone is off. Okay. Night three a.m. Open the black kitchen door. So kitchen staff can start working. Next. My. 40 a.m. while around kitchen check temperature in all cooler and freezer. My fighting. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. Only only one line. Only one line. Sí, go. Yeah, but I'm going to... okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Narciso, Narciso, Angel. This word. Temperature, temperature. 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 Okay, continue. Tem Night 50 a.m. Right schedule for servers and bossers, which will, no sé, no sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. With charts that yeah. need to be done in their shift individually. 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 And the third word, create schedule. Create schedules. Create schedule. Create schedule. OK, next, please. Who's next? Me, teacher. Uh, 10 AM, Serbian. Start to plug in. Okay. 10 item AM put on all the lights on some system. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, next, please. I am seven, teacher. 
We'll see. Okay. Can I say? Can I say? Number five, who is it? Who is it number five? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. I feel I feel that I'm having problem with with my connection because sometimes uh, I I don't, I don't get the answer that I want to have it. So please, who is number five? Who is number five? Quién es el número cinco? Lo leo yo, teacher. Ok, hold on, hold on, hold on. Espere, espere, espere. A cada okay. uno le asigné un número. For the reason, I, I am asking you who is number five. Who is six? Number six? Who is it? Seven? Who is seven? Me, teacher. Me. Ah, okay. Okay, continue. Norma, I'm going to show you. Ten. Okay, 10 p.m. a.m. Everyone clock, clocks out and have a quick lunch along with employees. And we talk about what they get to show for the day. Okay, okay, thank you. Next, please. Who's next? Number eight. Who is number eight? We don't have number eight. Okay, I'm going to read it from the beginning until uh, night 30 because I don't I don't have eight what about number nine me teacher ah, okay. continue please okay uh, 11 a.m go to the kitchen and check temperature of ready to eat food and get samples to taste Okay, thank you. Ten. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Great request from register might be wrong some food and help a server that gets begging. Eleven. Two p.m. Lock out and go home. Assistant manager stay in charge. Okay.
Another person that want to continue reading? Volunteer, please. 4 p.m. Clocking break over. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read it from 9.30 a.m. Open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. 9.40 a.m. walk around kitchen, check temperatures in all cooler and freezers. 9.50 a.m. VA schedule for server and buzzer with chores that need to be done in their shift individually. 10 a.m. Server start to clock in. 10 after 10 a.m. Turn on all the light and sound system. 10.30 a.m. Every clocks out and have a quick lunch along with employees and we talk about what their schedule church for the day. 10.50 a.m. Every, everyone clocks back in and start working again. 11. Go to the kitchen and check temperature of ready to eat food and get samples to taste. 11 a.m. 2 p.m. Greet guests run register Maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. 2 p.m., clock out and go home. Assistant manager stay in charge. 4 p.m., lock in, break is over. 4, 5 after 4 p.m., check food. Temperature again, as well as cooler and freeze stems. Then after 4 p.m., may schedule for second shift, server and buzzers, kitchen, head, cook, handle his teams. 4.30 p.m., second shift, staff start to log in. 5 to 9 p.m., read guests, talk to people, etc., etc. Don't have to run the register in the evening. Have a part-time cashier in the clock from 5 to 9 p.m. That way, it, that way I focus on more important things. 9.30 p.m., We start to side work. I suffer by everything get done right. And 10 p.m. tour the open fire off and lock the front door. Then after 10 p.m. enter credit card tips into the CC processor. As you can see right here, we have uh, all the steps that people follow in a specific place, in a restaurant. But I need uh, that, that you get familiar with this information, because in that way it's going to be easier for you in order to create your own schedule. But I need that you get familiar how. And if you don't read, it's going to be difficult for you to answer the question that we have 
at the bottom of the page. Okay, now um, I need that you read it, but I'm going to ask a volunteer who wants to read at least from 9.30 to 11.30. Or, or, or 10, uh, 55 a.m. Who wants to do it? No? Hello. Repeat, teacher. Ok, ahora lo que necesito es una persona voluntaria que quiera desarrollar su habilidad de lectura y que me lea de las 9 y 30 hasta las 10 y 55. ¿Quién quiere hacerlo? Mi teacher. Ok. Uh, 9.30 a.m. open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Uh, 9.40 a.m. what at all kitchen check temperature, temperature no me acuerdo como se dice in all coolers and freezers. 9.50 a.m. Rates a schedule for servers and buzzers with chores that need to be done in their shift individu individually. 10 a.m. Server start to clock in. Uh, 10 after 10 a.m. Turn on all the lights in some system. 10.30 a.m. Everyone clocks out in the hub a quick lunch along with employees and we talk about what their schedule chart for the day. 10.50 10, a.m. Everyone clocks back in and start working and guide. And then 55 a.m. Open the front door and turn on the open scene. Okay. Thank you. Temperature, temperature. Temp temperatures. Temperature. Temperature. Okay, somebody else, please. We want to continue from seven or thirty. So, are you there? Are you there? Do you have the material? Yes or not? Yes. Okay. Who wants to continue reading? Me, teacher. Okay, no, no. Thank you. 11, 11 a.m. Go to the kitchen and check them. Be sure of ready to eat food and get samples to taste. 11 a.m. to 
2 p.m. Great guest room register. Maybe room some food and help a server that get be behind. 2 p.m. Clock out and go home. Assistant manager stays in church. 4 p.m. Clock in break is over. 4 5 minutes p.m. Check food temperatures again. Has well, has cooler and freezer temp. 4 10 p.m. Make a schedule for second shift. Servers and boosters. Kitchen head could handle his team. Uh, 4.30 p.m. Second shift staff start to clock in. 5 to 9 p.m. Great guest tell to people, etc., etc., don't have to run the register in the evening. Have a part time cashier in the clock from 5 to 9 p.m. What that way in focus on more important things. 9 30 p.m. We start to do side work. I supervise everything I get done right. 10 p.m. Through the open sign off and look the front door. 10, 10 p.m. Enter credit card tips into the processor. Okay, thank you. Well, I'm going to read again because there are some words that I need that you take into account. Welcome, Linda. Welcome, Linda. Thanks, Thanks nice. teacher. Thanks. Nice to see you again, Linda. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay, remember that I've been telling you this. In this reading, we have the opportunity to read one or two lines, every one of you who had the chance to do it. But I insist, I'm, I'm in, in the same way telling you that you need to participate. I'm going to read it again. And I need that you pay attention. Please. Okay. Read and read the following schedule of a restaurant manager. And right here said that you need to write the time for each event, but we have it here. In this case, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm, I'm not going to read the time, I'm going just to read the activity, okay? Open the back kitchen door so kitchen and staff can start working. Walk around kitchen, check temperature in all cooler and freezers. Create a schedule for server and buzzer with chores that need to be done in their chief individually. Server start to clock in. Turn on all the lights and sound system. Everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch along with employees and we talk about what their schedule chart for that day. Everyone clock back in and start working again. Open the front door and turn on the open sign. Go to the kitchen and check temperature of ready to eat food and get samples to taste. Greet guests, run register, maybe run some food and help a server. 
that gets behind. Clot out and go on, assistant managers. Assistant manager stay in chair. Clock in, break is over. Check food temperature again, as well as cooler and freezer temps. May schedule for second shift. Server and buzzer, kitchen head, could handle his teams. Second chief staff start to clock in. Greek guests talk to the people, etc., etc. Don't have to run the register in the evening. Have a part time cashier in the clock from 5 to 9 p.m. In that way, I focus on more important things. We start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. Turn the open side off and lock the front door. Enter a credit card tip into the CC processor. Okay, before to continue discussing this, I need to take a look at the assistant play. Let, let, let me do it now. Let me do it now. Okay, Ana Cristina. Ana del Carmen. Angel. Present, Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Fátima del Carmen. Yes. Fátima. Present. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Gerson Manuel. Gerson Manuel. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Ok, Juan Carlos. Karen Yesenia. Karen Yesenia. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Maria Julia. Marlene. Present. Ahí está Marlene, ahí está Marlene. Eh, Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. Suleima. 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 No está Suleima. Okay, we are going to continue with the activity that we have, okay. Well, um, what you are going to do is that you are going to write down the time that happened every activity. For example, check temperature at the kitchen. Number two, turn on the light and sound system. 
Number three, make the schedule for the second shift. Open the back kitchen door, do inside work and turn on the open side. You are going to write down the time for each activity. Okay, go ahead now, please. Take a look and write it down. I'm going to give you some time in order that you can do it. Teacher, repeat, please. The instruction? Okay, don't worry. Let me show you also. I'm going to show you this. Okay, right here, what you are going to write down is the time that happened every activity. Lo que necesitan escribir acá es la hora en la que sucede cada uno de estas actividades. In order to do that, you need to go back and read and look for this activity. And that way you are going to find down the right time. Okay? Is that clear? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome.
Did you finish? Not yet? No, teacher. Okay, okay. Continue. Don't worry. Finish teacher. I finished, teacher.
finish the chat. Finish the chat. Okay, I guess it is time. Uh, let us see the number one, please. Who wants to read it? Number one. Yes, number the one. Temperature of the description, the answer is um, at 11 a.m. Okay, thank you. Go to the description and check temperature of ready to eat food. Example to take. Okay, second, number two, please. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Turn, turn on the lights and sound system. Uh, there are is a uh, 10. In 10 minutes a.m. Okay. And after 10 a.m. That means that at that time they they turn on the light and the sound system. Okay. The third one, please. Number three. Me teacher. Okay. Made the schedule for the second shift for 10 p.m. Okay, then after four. A four, ten, whatever the way that you say it, okay? Number four, remember that we have a different way how to say the time, but in this case, you can say four, ten, or you can say ten after four. Yeah, okay. Okay, number four, please. Me teacher, open the bath 
kitchen door. Night, 30, 30 a.m. A.m., okay. Number five. Number five, please. To inside work at uh, 9, sorry, p.m. Okay, excellent. And the last one, number six. The last one, please. Only one, only one, no more than one. Solo uno, por favor. Is number six is turn on the open sign and the hour is uh, five. I don't know, teacher, 5 to 11 a.m. I'm not sure. Or the, 10 the, the time that they, they turn on the open sign. Yes, but the, but the time, 10 and 55, but I don't know if it's... it's <clears throat> no sé si se pronuncia, si se dice así. 10 and 55. Yeah. A.M. 10 and 55. Ah, okay. Yeah, you, you can say it in that way. Or you can say uh, 5 to 11. Open the front door. 5, five to 11. Open. Okay. The, the open side, okay? okay? I mean, what they do is just to move it in order that people can see that it's open. Okay, excellent. What else I can ask you? Let me see. Because I need that all of you participate. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to tell me. Uh, tell me the time. But may I schedule for second shift. Hello. For 10 For... p.m. Okay. Okay. Let us continue working. Remember that you need to read all the information and you need to get familiar with the information. Oops going on here. Okay, let us continue with this activity. In the number one, this is an extra grammar practice. You are going to complete the sentence with the simple present form of the verb in parentheses. And we have Jeff, we have Jane and Pete, Mark, our restaurant, our boss, we, and they. We have seven sentences. So please, you are going to do it uh, alone, and then we are going to compare with somebody else. So please, work now on it. And don't forget the inflection that the uh, verb Suffer at the moment that we use it with third singular person, please. All of you got the material, right? Todos tienen el material? Yes, teacher. Si alguien bueno, no lo yo... tiene, si alguien no lo tiene, haga una captura, por favor. Sí. Make a screenshot now in order that you can work on it. Okay.
Do it now, please.
Uh, so now she finished, just let me know, please. I have finished, teacher. I finished, teacher. Okay, uh, let me see. I'm going to create a breakout run and you are going to compare with somebody else. Let us do it now, please.
Okay, who wants to read the number one, please? Number one? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, we need to be careful with the bear. Remember that we are uh, we are um, studying the simple present form of the verb. Right here. Mm -hmm. How is going to be in the simple present form? Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, work. Nada más. Words. You need works. To, yeah, you need to add uh, an S. Yes. Ah, que lo pronuncia mal. <laughs> Le va a agregar una S. Mm -hmm. Ya está. Words. Yes, because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a third uh, singular person. He works. Okay. He works. He works. From 6 a.m. Okay. to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, number two. Jan and Pete cleans the table every day. Mm -hmm. Read again, only the bear. Jan and Pete cleans. The table every day. With S or without S? How do you have it? S. No, no S. No S. No, clean. Okay. Why? Table. Why? Mm. Okay. Por qué? Según la regla, no lleva S. Yeah, but the reason. Tell me the reason why. Dígame la razón por la que no la lleva. <laughs> um, tables is plural. Ah, okay. Not I'm going to explain you. I'm going to explain you. Oh, I, I, I'm not your person. Ajá. Ojo. Ahí no es persona singular. Because we are talking about Jane and Pete. Are two people. Y como son dos personas, entonces, that is the reason why we are not going to add S. Is that clear, Cristina? Lo que, debe yes, de, okay, yeah. lo, lo que usted debe de mirar es si el, yeah, si el sujeto es singular o es plural. Si es plural, no lleva inflections. ¿De okay. acuerdo? Ok. Ok. okay. Number three, please. Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesday. Excellent. Mark doesn't or does not take order on Wednesday. Okay. If you have it in that way, just put a check. But if you don't have it in that way, make an X. Si les va saliendo bien, le ponen un cheque. Y si tienen uh, algo que no está bien, le ponen una X. Okay, number four. Me, teacher. Okay. Our restaurant opens from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, with, with S or without S? With S. Okay, excellent, excellent. With S, okay. Number five.
Number five, please. Our boss spends much time in the restaurant. Okay. With S or without S? With S. Ah, okay. Because we are talking about, about the boss and, and the boss is he. Okay, excellent. Uh, number six. We don't class on Sunday. We don't class on Sunday. With S or without S? Without. Without S, okay. And the last one, number seven, please. They expect to have more lines this week. They expect to have more lines this week. With S or without S? Sin S. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say sin? No puedo decir. How do you say sin in English? Sin S. <laughs> Okay. Okay, before to go to the next topic or the next activity that is going to be uh, at better frequency, I would like that you create a sentence, but you don't need to write it down. Just tell me a sentence using inflection and using uh, he or she in order to be sure that you can use it. Okay, volunteers. She always. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Excuse me. I have to create a sentence. Yes, yes, but no use using... the words that are in parentheses. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we, I use... don't have to use the pronoun. No, you don't have to use the adverb of frequency now. No, we are going to use it. We are what we are going to use is just a simple present. Ok, no se me confunda. Todavía no vamos a los adverbios de frecuencia. Hagamos oraciones en el presente simple. Por ejemplo, I can say, uh, for instance, I can say, uh, my boss travels to Mexico. And I live in that way. Okay. Okay, but I will wait that the other person participates because I don't understand very clearly. Or you can say, for example, Maria goes to the supermarket. Yeah, and you are using the, the simple present. Okay, tell me. She doesn't work on Saturday. Okay, she doesn't work on Saturday. Excellent, somebody else? Hello. Teacher, eh, no sé si está bien esta oración. Isaac eats much fruit. Isaac eats a lot, eats. Of, a lot of fruit. Ah, ok. Thank you. Nancy writes a lot of report.
Angel has to arrive very early to his job. My brother eats a lot at the dinner. Okay. Okay, let us continue with the, the next topic. Let us talk a little bit about the advert of frequency. Do you remember? But do you remember the bodies? Tell me. Every day, seldom, hardly ever. Okay. And what is an advert? Do you have a concept? Because you need to know exactly what is an advert. Remember that an adverb is a word that modify a verb. It gives more information about the verb. Keep in mind, an adverb is a word that modify a verb. It gives more information about the verb. And if I ask you what are the adverb of frequency, what can you tell me? Adverb of frequency change the meaning of a sentence by telling us how often or how frequently something happened. Frequen frequency adverb are temporal adverb that answer the, the question uh, how frequently or how widely something happened. They inform us the frequency with which something occur daily, weekly, yearly, for instance. And we can create some example. For, ex and for instance, I can say without another, Helen is dancing. I can, I can say that. Or Helen play badminton. And if I add uh, an adverb, I am going to say, Helen sometimes plays badminton. Okay, do you remember that? Yes. Okay, now what I need is that you create some sentences using frequent adverbs and, and tell me. Example, I can say, I, I sometimes go to the gym. Teacher, for example, it, like the, num the, the sentence number one, if I say the waiter always picks up tables, I mean, we we use the advert frequency advert and third person. Yeah, the inflection of the verb. Uh huh. Yes. No cambia. No. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, you can do it that way.
Okay, another example, please. I usually wake up late. Okay. I never go to bed early. You never go to bed early, okay. It happened to me too. I never go to my bed early. Somebody else? Again. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, sir. I always have coffee in the morning. Kidoki. Somebody else? Next, please. Me, teacher. I never cook on Sunday. Okay. Next. Next, please. Somebody else? Me fue la señal. We lost the connection. Okay, somebody help this. I often change the password. Okay, you often change the password. Excellent. For security, that is really important. Somebody help please. I I hardly drink coffee. Okay. Somebody else? I always eat pupusa for dinner. For dinner, for dinner. For dinner. Okay, for dinner. Somebody else? See? No. Well, we are close to finish this review. Remember that you need to participate if you want to improve your skills. Recuerden que es muy importante la participación de todos ustedes para poder mejorar las habilidades. Y cuando estamos haciendo oraciones o dando ejemplos, no necesito estar diciendo quién sigue, quién sí, no, ustedes tan pronto termine alguien deben de continuar a fin de que todos puedan participar. Es, that is one of my dreams. Es uno de mis sueños. And so please help me to reach it. Así es que me van a ayudar a alcanzar ese sueño que, que todos deben de participar. 
remember that the next uh, module, you are going to be in the next level. No se oye, padre. Sí se oye. Let me see my microphone is on, I guess. Yes, it's on. Hola. Ah, the door is barking. Okay, maybe some of you are tired because of the time and today is Friday and maybe you are thinking on Black Friday too at this moment. Well, don't worry. And for the next week, uh, try to participate more. Okay, let me see. Karina, I don't see you. Karina, where are you? Okay, according to my schedule, today is the time for Karina. I don't know if she's going to stay at the end of the class. Okay, let me check up the, the attendance. Bien, dentro de un par de minutos voy a actualizar las notas. Espero ya todos tengan la mayoría. De hecho, recordándole lo del problema. Del... Fíjese que relacionado a eso, eh, quizás nos vamos a tener que esperar hasta la semana que entra que lo modifiquen porque veo que no hubo ninguna modificación. Así es que I'm sorry. Ok. Ok, Ana Cristina. Ana del Carmen. Present. Ángel. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present. Fátima del Carmen. Present. Giovanni. Present. Harrison? Juan Carlos? Present. Karen Yesenia? Karen Yesenia? It's not here. Karina? Linda Ivet? María Julia. Tenía problema de conexión, linda. Yes. María Julia. Marlene. Nancy. Present teacher. Ajá. Nancy. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Raquel. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica. Suleima. Now here. Okay, as I can see uh, today is the turn to Karina, but uh, she's not here. I don't know if somebody else wants to take her place. 
El día de hoy le correspondía a Karina, pero veo que no está. Entonces, no sé si alguien más quiere adelantar su, su asesoría. Lo puede hacer, solo me indica. Is not. Well, no problem. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you the next week. Uh, don't forget to read the book and look the all the words that you don't know the meaning. Look in the dictionary and that way you are going to increase your vocabulary and try to learn new words and new phrases and put in practice. Remember that uh, you had the opportunity to do it in the class. But if you want to learn, a new language, you need to practice, not just listen. You need to practice. So please try to do it the next week. Thank you very much. Have a good night and see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. As I told you before, today was the turn uh, to Karina, but she's not here. For the reason, I would like to reinforce the topic that we have studied during this week. And I would like to tell you that you need to keep in mind if you are going to talk using the simple present, you, you need to keep in in mind that uh, when you use a verb with a third singular person, you are going to have some inflection. In that case, most of the verb, when we are talking about regular, they add uh, only just the letter S. But some of them uh, also, you need to add ES. And the most common that we have, that we are going to use it, ES, are the one that uh, finish in CH, SH, O, the most common, right? And the another topic is that when you talk about, or when you use, at very frequency, you need to know exactly the, the structure that you are going to follow. For example, I, I can say, I, I never drink coffee. Listen, I, it is the subject, never is the adverb, drink is the main verb, and coffee is the complement. That means that you need to follow that structure. I never drink coffee. But if you are going to talk about your job, you can say, I always arrive on time to my job. And you can uh, create sentences in that way in order that you can practice. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. I hope to see you the next class. Have an excellent weekend. Bye-bye.